Hi everyone, in this video we're going to work out this recurrence relation. So this is actually pretty simple looking, but it's a little bit harder than the easiest example. It's still pretty simple, but it's not the easiest one. Okay, so in order to solve this, you have to know some stuff about recurrence relations. So in general, in general, say you have, um, I'll, use, I'll use the number two, say you have C2 times A sub N equals C1 times A sub N minus one uh, plus um, C0 times uh, A sub N minus two. Say you have something like this, right? Some, these are constants here, C2, C1 and C0 are numbers, okay? If you have something like this, you can create what's called the characteristic or auxiliary equation. It comes immediately from this. Basically, whenever there's an N, you just put an X squared. And whenever there's an N minus one, you put an X. Whenever there's an N minus two, it's just the constant. Okay, so this is something you just memorize, right? There's, there's different ways of memorizing it. Um, different books use different notation. Uh, I mean, it just varies greatly, right? So I just memorize it. Whenever it's an n, it's an x squared. Whenever it's n minus 2, it's a constant. When it's n minus 1, it's an x. Okay, so this is called the characteristic or auxiliary equation. Then we solve this, and then from this, we can get the answer. So let's do it. So in this particular problem, we have e sub n, right? The c2 is just one, so it's not there. So it's just x squared. And then two, right? That's it, it's just two. Uh, and then it's two times uh, e sub n minus two. It's just a constant, right? So that's all you get. All right, then we have to solve this equation for x. So you take the square root of both sides. So you get x equals plus or minus the square root of two. So we have two distinct real roots. Whenever that happens, the answer to the recurrence relation has the following form. E sub n equals big, big C1 times one of the roots to the nth power plus big C2 times the other root to the nth power. So this is the solution to this, right? So now we have to find the solution to everything. In other words, we have to find the solution when we add these initial conditions. So recap, whenever there's an n, you put a two. Whenever there's an n minus one, you put an x. n minus two, it's a constant. You solve this. This is called the characteristic or auxiliary equation. When they're different, okay, only when they're different real numbers, the answer always has this form. You just raise each of the numbers to a power. If they're the same number or if it's something else, it's different. Okay. So now we just have to use our conditions here. And I think this is where it's gonna get a little bit messy. Um, so let's use our conditions. Let's use the first one. So E1, so I'm gonna put the square root of two here. And then N is one, so it'll be C1, the square root of two. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, minus C2, square root of two, right? Because you put a one here, the negative, you can, you can pull it out. All right, let's use the second condition now. Six equals so we square this one this time. So when you square that, you're just going to get 2C1, um, right, 2C1. And then when you square this one, you're, the negative is going to go away, and the square root is going to go away. You'll get 2C2, right? We're squaring it because n is 2, right? Okay, we have to solve this equation. So how do you do that? I think I know a way. I haven't done this before, but I think I know a simple way. Let's multiply the first equation um, by... 2 square root 2. And I say square root 2 because when you multiply them, it's going to get rid of all the square roots and you'll have a 2 here. That makes it better. Actually, not 2 square root 2, just square root of 2 will work. I was thinking 2 because there's a 2 here, but I thought wrong, right? So multiply by the square root of 2. The square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2. The square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2. That's what we want. See how it's the same now? The square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2. Oh, beautiful. This problem is so rigged. I had not done it until now. So it's kind of exciting that it's working out so nicely. You add these and you get eight. You add these and you get four C1. You add these and it goes away, right? Divide by C1 and so we get the answer of two. So that is our first constant. To find C sub two, we just plug it back in here maybe. So let's do that. So we have six equals two times two because C1 is two plus 2c2. So 6 is equal to 4 plus 2c2. So 6 equals 4 plus 2c2. So subtract 4, so you get 2 equals 2c2. 
divide by two, you get C2 equals one. Did that kind of quick. Basically, we just took the C1 and plugged it back in here and solved for C2. Now we're done, right? Now we just take these constants and we plug them back into our answer. So E sub n, I'll write it over here so you can see it. C sub one is two, so two square root of two to the n uh, uh, plus C2 which was 1, so it'll be plus negative square root of 2 to the n. Let me just check to make sure that's correct. So plug in the 2, yep, and then plug in the 1, yep, looks good. So that is the final answer. I hope you have found this video to be helpful uh, in some way. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, until next time, take care.